All right, so it looks like we're going again. So I've now got this computer to the point where I can load apps, specifically ledger apps, onto a ledger. Um, I want to test that now and see if it talks to the Loki code base. Um, the app that's been designed is a Monero copy. Um, Loki is a fork of Monero, so they forked the, uh, the Monero Ledger app as well. Um, there are slight differences, and right now they're not working. I think it did work at one point in time, but it's been, it's been changes since. Um, so we've got to get Loki working on this computer now. Um, hopefully a dev environment would be nice as well. So if I go, I've also got notes on um, how to fork the Loki code base and do work on it. So in my notes, Loki contributions. So there's going to be two things I want. I'm going to want a build of it, but I'm also going to want to get it to develop on here as well. So I've already got it forked. Control V, git clone into Loki core. Now, the fun thing about working on blockchain stuff is they have to sync to the network. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to copy what I've got from my other computer here. Because I definitely don't want to be waiting 10 hours for it. It's even, even the test net takes like 10 hours to stream. Um, so can I just do, do a copy of a folder? SSCCP-R. That's quick. SCP R from Sean at one nine two dot one eight dot one dot ninety eight. I can't remember the folders. But now that I'm here, what have I got? I got Loki test. Loki dash test. Um, did, did slash Loki dash test. Didn't look like it worked. So it is recursive not thing. Got it. Look at that. The miracle of stuff. So in here I've just got keys, test keys, password to this is password. Um, and also some scripts that just load the keys straight away and like make it so it talks to the actual compiled version rather than um, rather than searching for it in a different place. Because um, if you want to work from a build, it ends up being recursive. So if you look at the 
wiki d test. Um, you can kind of see it's somewhat deep. Um, so that's all good. Uh, now that I've got that, I wanted to get the same thing, but for the Loki test, uh, the Loki folder. Guess what's called? Yeah, it looks like it. God damn it. And I know that's 15 gigabyte at the moment, so 10 minutes it reckons. Oh. All right. Let's see if I can get the Loki source compiling. CD Loki dash core. It branch. I don't have the right branch. I need to get to the dev branch somehow. Cool. And there's also another file a library you got to get a kid HPI for the, the Loki the Loki hardware wallet needs it. It's like this Tracer Common that is downloading right now. Um, for it to work, it has a special library. I forgot what that library is called. Potentially need to go to another server and see what I downloaded and write down that I've that's what I need to get because every time we do this I don't write it down, I forget it. So that one's gonna take Still going to take 10 minutes, even though it's just my box over there. Also taking longer than I want it. New tab. Here we go. Hit check out origin dev. So now that you've got it, you don't actually have it. That's how fun Git is. Check out dev. This is, it lets you view a remote branch, but it doesn't actually give you it. It gives you this detached head. Then you do the same thing. So you say you want it, but then you don't want it, want it, want it. And then you get in the actual branch itself. Now we've got a dev branch. And we have to make it. Ooh. Get branch. Make. Error. The make not found.
Ben abi bir sevmek. Is that how new this machine is? Why is CMake not in any way? Yeah, I do want CMake. All right, let's find out what that other library is called. Sean. Ellis. It is called id HPI. HPI, API, API. A simple library. So simple. So the way the ledger kind of works is it kind of lives there and sits there in its own little world. And then you send it transactions to sign. But it's the job of the wallet to send transactions for this to sign. It signs it. Also checks that the formatting's right. But that's for your app to do. Um, so you make an app that can receive a transaction, sign it, and send it back to them. And the keys stay on here, but the computer on here does the signing, sends it back, then your wallet sends that transaction over the network. Um, As fun as that sounds, it uh, no, that's not the right one. Means that you need to get this library, get clone, get clone. And I'm going to make it, make it config. Want to be able to download some tools. I remember reading this last time and going, oh look at this. Too hard. Too hard. Can't be bothered. Bootstrap configure make make install. So don't know what the bootstrap does. Probably is downloading viruses. Don't care. Configure, make, make install. Don't want sudo make install. Configure. Checking whether the C compiler works. Maybe. I mean, that would make sense. It's waiting to see, it needs to compile it. Make. Uh, 
Oh, now it's compiling that. Fun. You downloaded yet? One minute. Good work. Uh, sudo make install. User bin install. ECHBI. Okay, cool. You reckon that works? CD slash user bin. Ls L grep here at API. Not doing it. User local share. User local. Dib. ECHPI. No, I didn't put it in here. I just made links to it. So city Loki core. Make. How am I gonna get? We've got C make this time. That's a good start. Oh that was a quick error. Did do that. Could not find lib sodium. That sounds like a more reasonable error. Another library. That the devs kindly write all over. They're like a prerequisite. To this project is that you have this library. It is very important that you download it. And I don't read it. And instead of reading, I just have a go and get nowhere and get stuck. Always. The like your project. Look, you cool. Got it. You need lib sodium. This looks like a line that could be useful. Cool, so I got a test down now. Jeez, that looks big. LS. Dosh L A H. That's only five hundred kilobytes. Half a megabyte. 
LMDB. LS-ALH. 600 megabytes for the test. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. And the actual LMDB. Probably majority of it. What's going on in this one then? Oh, I've got to press yes. I think I've stolen everything from my other server. Let's get out of it. I'm running so much stuff at the same time. These will download. Libsodium in this one. I reckon if I got this originally. Hey, let's see, mate. Told me I needed it. Didn't listen. Um, it would have figured out the issue I had with building the hardware wallets app. It wanted end cursors for some reason. Was it even end cursors? I don't really know. Definitely one of those. Don't know what I did right. Don't know what I did wrong. Seven percent, cool. That's fun. That's not even building it yet. Let's get some releases. Loki one point nine. Link creation. Ah, cool. So we got some releases. I do want to compile them, but for the sake of getting things running quicker. Uh, F Loki Linux. That work? Work. Who knows how to remember TARS flags when you use them from scratch? Not me. Or maybe did. It did, it worked. <laughs> uh, the next one is, what do you do to link it? Loki. Loki Linux. Does that work? Nah, it didn't work. Uh, remove Loki. Loki dash Linux. Loki. CD Loki. Oh, that works. So if I remove the tar file now, without deleting the important stuff, it would be nice. Um, CD Loki dash test test the slash Loki copy test dot keys the Loki. So now I've got it in here. Got my secret keys for my test. Um,
and it is spinning up. Look at that. It's on a rotating device. It'll be very slow, you reckon? Oh, it's slow. It's probably because it's on a rotating device. Scan faster. I've downloaded it all. Should all be there. Sync, sync, sync. Quickly. What are you doing now? Yeah, you got it. Hey. Build Linux dev. Work. First time. Synchronized. Very good. Um, where am I? I'm in the right place. Loki dash wallets seal I dash dash testnet. Test is the name of that one, and the password is password. Spin, spin, spin. Ooh. Failed to load wallet, basic string. Bin lucky dash wallet DLI dot log. What do you say? Fatal, right, you give me nothing. Dash wallet DLI dot log. Test dot unbottable. Um, so I think that was because I was screwing around or something. Pull request that really screwed with how the file was saved. So it didn't like what I'd done to it, obviously. Um, test again, password. And I'll have to build it from scratch. Go find all the test monies that I've got. And resave that into the file. Like my one. 31%. Sick. Fun times. What have we got? Found some output. Found some input. Didn't make, 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 make. Forty nine percent, you reckon? Very good. I don't even want this wallet. I have to make another one on the ledger. So waiting for it to. Load is not exactly my cup of tea. I guess it's nearly there. This one's fine. This one's sixty-one percent. I actually should get to use that one first. Should be better. Um, use the compiled one rather than the releases. This is compiling faster than it's going through the wallet. Because it's got so much going on right now. This test sense too big. 150,000. 300,000. Blocks. Takes so long to sync. Like a day's worth of syncing. 
for testnet. Oh, it built. It built. There we go. What do we got? Oh, no, you're not even. What were you? Oh, it's just making the make objects. No, not even close. Probably seeing more reasonable than that pace. God, there's so much stuff loading. Okay. So the wallet, the way the wallets kind of work is because it's an encrypted blockchain. You can't just go through the blockchain and sum it like your wallet every time you find a transaction that's, um, that's yours. You can't just say, hey, that's mine plus 10. That's mine plus 50. That's mine plus 50. You actually have to download them, every single one, decrypt them, and then save that onto this wallet file here. Um, but that gives an extra step. Whereas with Bitcoin, you can sort of just run a script over the blockchain. With Monero and with Floki and with these guys, you have to run a separate wallet, and the wallet has to manage what it's found because they're all different. Um, oh, so there's my balance. That looks good. This is still building. Balance. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I really wanted to use this compiled one. Nah. Exit. All right, let's try connecting up to a ledger. Is exit not the command? So as always, I forget everything I do. I've got some notes on how to do this. Loki wallet ledger. This assumes generate from device. So we just look ahead. Loki wallet CLI dash dash generate from device ledger. Wallet dash dash sub address look head look ahead three two hundred. What this does is The same thing, pretty much exactly the same thing. You have a file on your computer that keeps track of the wallet stuff. The only difference is when it goes to sign the transactions, it needs to ask the hardware wallet to do it. So we're going to this, it's not genuine, yeah. We don't have a genuine one yet, Ledger. Password. Is going to be the password. Confirm that it's password. I spelled it wrong. Device not found ledger. Ooh. Bump, bump, da, 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 da. I've got the Loki app open on that one, but it didn't work on this. So the wallet couldn't find the Loki app 
on the ledger because it didn't know the ledger was there. Fortunately, I semi know what was this one. If I go to Loki, there's your app. And into the source, um, because I'd actually made some changes on this on my other computer, very minor changes. Um, as you can see, all of the, all of this still says Monero. Um, which one's it going to be? You reckon it's main? Main. Nope, go away. The summer in here is a version check. Possibly not in this, because this looks really small. It makes it 240 lines. So it says, I will only work if you are version X. And in our case, We've had an incremented version. Where was it? Vim Monero init. A kind of music magic. Monero HW. You know what? I think I've got completely the wrong version. No, I don't. No, that's right. Seven. Ah, uh, so all I did there was there's a version, and it worked with version six. Now Loki's. Uh, has upgraded to seven. God damn it. Um, why did I lose that? CD like Ledger Dev. Uh, source ledger activate bin activate activate Uh, so what I should really do uh, is put that back into that. Like add in these paths because I lost that changing, changing the terminal. And now that I've gone back into it, it's flat out not working. If I go into my ledger dev. A clang. C D ledger C D G C C C D bin. Echo G C C path. 
dollar sign ECC path. Beam dot slash dot profile. Wait. All right. What am I doing? Did nothing. Yes, done. Export GCC something to code GCC path. And same deal with the clang. See that it did it did it see clang see bin. Echo dollar sign clang. Ooh, I don't know what. All right, you've been frustrated. Give me the profile again. The home. So export lang path. Oops. Did that one work? Why did the other one not work? Because I can't type is why. Um, so now I'm back into this Loki. I've lost. What's the environment? CD ledger dev again. Um, source ledger. Bin activate. Uh, I lose both of them. That's frustrating. I don't include that. I want to include it in the current path. Source, I've done that before. File into current environment. Ah. Uh -huh. 
You know what I might do? I might just add bim bin ledger bin activate and also open uh no that might be a bit might not be able to open a hidden file. Give me out. Beam dot dot slash dot profile. And then if I open this ledger div, ledger bin activate. If I go back in here and take all of these, put them down here. And this means whenever I go in here and I do source bin ledger bin activate dollar sign bolos echo ECC I've got it all. Look at that. Brilliant. Now all I have to do is go into the Loki Ledger app. And click click make and it's not going to work because for some other reason who knows some other reason clang pass bin clang is not there Oh, I need a slash there. Look at that. Oh, bin clang. Bim dot dot slash dot profile. Here, yeah, right. Slash. Deactivate. Deactivation. Ledger dev. Bim ledger bin activate. D and add a slash there because that was apparently all that's wrong. Source ledger bin activate. Loki Ledger app. Make load. Spelt load wrong. Take 1000. Yes. Get into it with my secret code that I'll have to type a thousand times. Ooh. That looks like it's working. Load error. Do it again. I'm ready this time. You're not obviously ready. Why are you not ready? Unexpected state of device. Verify the right application is open. There's meant to be no application opened. Let's do it a code. Using test master key. E. Allow unsafe manager. Form deletion. I'm going to delete the old one first, I guess. That makes sense. I've only done it like a thousand times. Install app. Perform installation. You want my code again? Really got to work on 
making it so you don't need a code. This app is not genuine, that's not nice. open application. Now we go back over here. We try again. Device not found ledger. Bug. So, what I think I've done is in here, I cloned from my repo, and I think that's the wrong one. I think what I actually need is use the Loki projects repo. So if I go back into here, into Loki project, and go ledger. Ooh. If I go crazy, then will you still call me super? Dash ledger. Get clone. Source Vim Monero bit. So if I look in here. What I've got is Monero W is a C magic. That's the same. I thought it was different. I think I'll like it for some reason. Reported client size was seven. If I is less than supported client size, nah, this is right. So what I've actually done potentially wrong. And yeah, 100% is wrong. Is that the releases that I've downloaded and I'm trying to run here don't have the ledger compiling because they don't have this hid H. Hid API, hid H. BI, whatever I did, has not got that built into it. So I actually have to wait for this to compile. That's 41%. Uh, 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 fix quote. So, I guess I'm kind of stuck waiting for this to compile. What else can I do? I can copy the bin, the binaries from the other one. Yeah, let's do that.
So if I log into my server and download some different binaries, that might work. Let's do that then. Let's open up another tab because I don't have enough for ready. I just rename that one. No, I can't rename it apparently. So. Go to the home directory and I SSH into Sean at one, one, two, three, one, six, eight, one, one dot twenty-eight. Not down. CD Loki source. Build or releases? What's it called? Build release. Ledger. In. So if I copy this, and I was going to close out of that, but John. At one or two dot one six eight one dot ninety eight that that ledger Loki did that work. So that did work. Exit. So if I go back into my wallet, but instead of from these release files, go into the jib loki bin. And if I do this previous command, like this. Lib boost Bronos cannot open shared object file. Do I not have lib boost? Is it another file that I've um not downloaded because it's a new computer.
it is real struggling at the moment. Somewhat disappointed in Ubuntu. Error while loading shared libraries. Libraries have a default looked in there. Which means I don't have to boost libraries. I thought I would. Did I not run the Loki projects thing? How come this is compiling if it's not there? Log boost dash chrono dash dev. Already at the latest installed version. Why can't you find it then? Where are you looking? Um. The library folders are going to be sourced in a file relative to it, do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon that. So, instead of doing this, Loki bin and grab all of it. Loki underscore source build CD Linux. CD Ledger. So I'm going to copy all that instead. So I reckon. Do I have a Ledger folder already? Yeah, no. CD-R. 
join at 192.168.1.8. And I want to save it here, and hopefully that doesn't spam it everywhere, and it puts it into a sane folder. Oh, it's a bigger file than I thought. Dun, dun. And the worst thing is it's going to come through all this, and by the time I get it working, it is going to be compiled on the other one. Jeez. How many folders does CMake need? Buzz tests. Those things that I should do but I never do. Oh, and I've run out of key as well. Hey! Hey, Ledger. Ooh. Move ledger into Loki core build Linux, not dev. ED Loki core build Linux. Cool. Exit. Definitely exit. Close you. Now, let's click e, just core, build, Linux, ledger, bin, Loki, just wallet, CLI. No, it's still not there. It's frustrating. Not open shared object for So why does this computer not have Libboost Chrono? I do have it. I'm pretty sure I got it. I mean, I downloaded it. This is where everyone who's used Boost before knows why it's not in my path. Installing Boost. Lib boost all dev. My password. He's already at the newest version, you reckon?
And that's not going to compile anytime soon. All right. Well, I'm going to call it for today. I'm going to wait for this to compile. Give it another go tomorrow. I suspect because it's trying to use libraries that are already there but saved somewhere differently. All right. Cheers.